guys, welcome to a new video and this is a much requested video. It is about my choice of nutrition, which is plant-based nutrition and how it can benefit a lifestyle athlete. So someone who, yes, trains and races sometimes, but is mostly a normal person with a normal life and a normal job. And I must admit, it is something that had tremendous benefits on my day-to-day -day life. So I will do my best to share with you what I eat in a day even though I don't find it anything special. Also trying to explain why I make the choices that I make. So let's go have breakfast. Breakfast is mega basic. It's 99% of the time fruit. Today we have these incredible apples, pink lady quality apples mixed with some bananas. Why would anybody choose to eat only plants? That is because through testing and experimenting, I had a pretty revelatory experience that had to do with a back condition that I had, which cleared up completely in one month after adopting a whole foods plant-based diet. After this experience, I started researching this a bit more and ended up finding really high level athletes like Rich Roll, Brendan Brazier and people like that who were following this kind of protocol and were having incredible results. What I found is that with plant-based diet you have a very fast recovery from workouts. So being an average athlete which means that the impact on your body and your the load on your body is very high you need to find ways to accelerate recovery in order to complete the volume needed during a week. Why fruit? Well fruit has a very low GI factor which means it is a very good food to avoid blood sugar spikes but provide instant energy to your body. Fructose which is the molecule of carbohydrate in fruit is one of the fastest absorbing sources of energy from your body. It gets processed by the liver. Today we have Brina on the camera so we have some really cool footage thanks to her. No. I'm no doctor I'm I have a little diploma in nutrition but I'm no expert so this is just what works for me. Another thing I believe is that getting our nutrients from whole foods helps get all the micronutrients we need, all the vitamins we need, and we need to supplement less. Like fruit, for instance, in its whole form. So it's the pulp with the fiber and the juice. These two things put together make the whole food. The more you alter foods from the original source, I believe that it takes away from the original nutrient quantity and quality they have. So fruit always consumed in the whole form or in smoothies. The only supplement that I take when I have it is raw maca. Shout out to Wakami Bio for hooking us up with some raw maca. This is a root and it is literally the only supplement I have ever tried and I've tried a million, I've tried spirulina, moringa, whatever. This is the only one I have found to have an instant effect. You can feel, you can feel more energetic after you take it. The only other thing that uh, I'm doing right now, which is the middle of winter in Italy and there is incredibly bad weather outside is I am supplementing with a vitamin D supplement. Vitamin D is absorbed very well when you couple it with eating a meal. So now we have all this fruit which is gonna last a couple of days. My favorite staples are bananas and apples but it's nice to have in mind how much uh, one piece of fruit can impact your body and the basic rule is Fruit is mostly carbohydrate. It is uh, almost exclusively fructose and it has fiber in it. So one apple or one banana are around 100, 110 calories and they provide uh, 20 grams of carbohydrate to your body. Coupled with these carbs, we have an abundance of fiber. Fiber keeps blood sugar levels stable. It doesn't cause a big spike. So we can have three, four, five pieces of fruit and our blood sugar levels will be stable and we'll have a slow release of energy for hours. So today I'm gonna make two apples and one banana bowl just to start the day. Today we are treating ourselves with the snobbest of the snob apples, Pink Lady. These apples are insane. Unfortunately for today's video we have some really bad bananas. These are the bananas that you should not buy because they are not ripe, but they are the only thing that was available. They're gonna be okay for this breakfast. So during the night, our liver glycogen gets depleted without doing anything, just to keep on the cerebral function. And in the morning, we have from 100 grams to 20 grams. So starting again with fruit, goes and starts replenishing those glycogen stores. Okay, so I prefer to do the maca straight on its own. I know people put it in smoothies, but I find it tastes like dirt. So, <laughs> so I just drink it on its own. It's like two seconds and it's done. Ah. 
know, it's not that bad. Like, okay, so that's done. So I drink some water. Now I'm gonna finish up this bowl. We're gonna get on with our day. So what do I do for a living when I say about work? Uh, my job is freelance videography. So it entails some days shooting and some days editing. Today is an editing day. So I will be stuck at the computer for who knows how long. It might be one hour, it might be four hours, it might be 10 hours. Um, this is where fructose and fruit comes into play, as in it can give you sustained amount of energy because it doesn't create a blood sugar spike. And this can provide a stable release of energy for hours on end, and I really dig it. So let's get to work. Okay, so the work for this morning is done. And now we are gonna go just before lunch break on our training ride for the day, which is a short, an hour and a half, two hour ride. Yesterday I went on a really hard four hour ride and today is just gonna be a bit chill. Cycling is absolutely awesome, I love it. Especially in like, let's call it off season. I prefer it because it is very low injury risk. So you can maintain a big aerobic base uh, without risking injury. So throughout the year, it'll be anything from six, seven hours up until, uh, well, last week I did 20 hours. So uh, we're gonna go climb up in the hills because I found a lot, tremendous benefit from doing this last year. For the ride, I'm not gonna take anything to eat because I already had breakfast and the ride is gonna be fairly chill, so I should be good. So yeah, let's get out there. So today is going to be a very easy ride between one hour and a half, maybe two hours on familiar roads. Here we go. on the road bike because it is way too cold to be out on the tri bike. It will become like an icy pole if you went out on the tri bike. That is the ride done. The weather was absolutely horrible. Now I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna show you what I do for recovery, then lunch and so on and so on. The best thing about eating a plant-based diet is that recovery is so quick. Let me show you what I do exactly. This is through experimenting what I have discovered about recovery. In order to recover faster, there is a feeding window after exercise, which is supposedly 30 minutes to one hour. And it is important to do two things in this window. One is to repair any muscle damage that has been done, which is done with proteins. And the other very important thing is to restore your glycogen stores which is the source of glucose energy stored in your muscles. You have 400 grams in the muscles and 100 grams in the liver. And the liver only stores fructose, like I said this morning, and the other 400 grams are glucose, so sugars basically. In order to do this, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make a bowl harnessing the power of whole foods plus a tiny little boost by this protein. I don't want this video to sound like an ad, but this is a really cool brand and uh, the products are really good. I've tried a whole different bunch of proteins all over the place. These ones are actually good. And we're gonna mix this with a couple of bananas and a few more ingredients. So here goes. Plant milk, two bananas, and a bit of added protein. But this is just to be extra safe. Many times I wouldn't do it. A, a moment in which I would do it would be after a really, really hardcore swim session or a really hardcore run. There I would go for the ratio of four grams carbs to one protein. It can go all the way to one gram carb, one gram protein. So this is so simple. We're just gonna smash them like this. We're gonna put in one scoop and some plant milk. Then we're gonna add a little bit of water and we're gonna mix it all up. I'm going to add one of these crushed up like rice cakes. I'm just gonna add a little bit of panela sugar. 
With sugar, you get 50% fructose, 50% glucose, which aids in muscle glycogen recovery and all that kind of stuff. Another super cool way to sweeten your bowls is by using dates. Dates are flavorful, super sweet. If you don't like using sugar, you can use dates. Basically the same thing. So this is gonna be kind of a late lunch. Let's smash this in and get on with our day. This is a sample dinner that Brina made and she is the awesome chef who made this stuff. It is mostly whole food, veggies, white rice, pumpkin and stuff like that. Okay Brini, so tell us what you prepared. I just made some chickpeas and I think you just put it in a salad. And then I made some uh, Brussels sprouts, roasted with some maple syrup. Mm. delicious. And then I made some Delica pumpkin with the skin because it you can eat it. It tastes like chestnuts or something We have one more thing in store. So we've got some potato croquettes. They're supposed to be good Just potatoes and then breadcrumbs, I believe. Yes, so it's okay. These things are so good Can you help you like that whole parable during the day of what I eat in a day? Now I'm gonna eat some dinner Woo! Cheers <laughs> Mmm, buon appetito! Buon appetito.